Hi, and welcome to another Victoria 3 mining lesson on the Iron Workshop. In this lesson, we'll learn how to enable debug mode for Victoria 3. Let's get started. Now, before we begin, I want to talk briefly about what is debug mode and why you would need it. Now, debug mode is a special mode that the game works on and that gives you additional information and tools that are not accessible to regular players. And this information can help you a lot when modding the game. So if you are serious about modding Victoria 3, you will need debug mode to be enabled. So now that we understand a little bit about what is debug mode, let's see how to activate it. There are two main ways to enable debug mode for the game. And I'm going to show you both of these methods. Now the difference between these two methods is that the first one is what I call the permanent debug mode. And this is good if you're going to be modding the game for a long period of time and you don't really care about playing the game as a normal player. Now please note that in debug mode the game runs a bit slower because it has to show you a lot of additional information that it doesn't have to when you're playing the regular mod. So if you want to be modding the game for a long period of time and you don't want to be playing as a regular player, this is the method for you. On the other hand, if you want to be able to switch between debug mode enabled and disabled, then use the second method, which I will have a link to in the video chapters below. So let's get started. We are now going to enable the permanent debug mode, which I will always have to cancel in case I want to play a regular game. To do this, I will need to open Steam, right click on the Victoria 3 icon in my library, go to properties. Now in here, in the general tab, I will have a section called launch options. And in here, what I'm going to do is type the debug mode option, which is minus debug underscore mode. That is it. You don't need to click save anywhere. You just need to type it and then close the window. And now debug mode is enabled. So now let's see how the other method works and then we can see how debug mode works in the game itself. All right, now I have permanent debug mode enabled and now I want a more flexible way to use debug mode, right? So I want that when I start the game through Steam, through the regular launcher, I can play the game like a normal player and I don't have debug mode enabled. But on top of that, I will also add a, another way to launch the game that has debug mode enabled all the time. So the first thing that I'm going to do right now is disable the permanent debug mode. So let's go to properties and I will remove this from here. Great. So now when I start the game through Steam in here, uh, the game will launch normally without debug mode enabled. Now let's add the permanent debug mode to uh, the game shortcut that I'm going to create on my desktop. To do that, first of all, I will need to locate the game files. The easiest way to locate my game files is to click on the Victoria 3 in my library, go to properties, then click on local files and click browse. This will take you to the location where Victoria 3 is installed on your computer. Great, now we will need to go to binaries and in here I have the victoria3.exe uh, launch file. So I'm going to create a shortcut to this file on my desktop. To do that, I'm going to right click the icon, go to send to desktop, create shortcut. All right, now I have the Victoria 3 shortcut on my computer. And now I'm going to do something very similar to what I did in Steam. I'm going to right click, go to properties, and I'm going to add the debug launch option in here in the icon itself, right? At the end of this text in target, I'm going to add a space by pressing the space bar. Now I'm going to type minus debug underscore mode. And I'm going to click OK. Great, so now when I start Victoria 3 with this icon, debug mode will be enabled. And when I start the game through Steam in here, debug mode will be disabled, right? So now I have a much more flexible way to use debug mode. And now that we've learned these two ways of enabling debug mode, Let's see how to actually use it in the game itself. All right, so now after all of this hard work that we did, what did we actually get by enabling debug mode? Let's start debug mode with the new fancy icon 
the shortcut that we've created and see what we got. So now that we started the game in debug mode, first of all, we can get access to the debug panel by pressing the tilde key on our keyboard. That's the key to the left of the one key. And once you press it, you get this fancy panel that gives you access to a lot of fancy stuff. And uh, now obviously I'm not going to get into it uh, in here, but that's the first thing that you have access to. If you start a new game, you will see that you have access to a lot of new information that you did not see before. So let's give it a try. All right, so now that we're in the game, you will see that first of all, you now have this deer that shows you errors that are in the game. It also shows you the current FPS, right? The frames per second that the game is running at. And uh, if we open the uh, debug menu, we can also click the master menu and then click, for example, on draw all. And what this will do is that it will show you all kinds of information when you hover over certain uh, elements in the interface, right? So you can choose draw under mouse and then you see that I have these additional settings like is player yes, is local player yes, is AI, and so on. You can see, for example, that now I can control click to play as France or I control alt click to annex a territory, right? So I can just give my nation a lot of new territory using the debug tool and so on and so forth. Now, I'm not going to go in depth into how to use the new tools uh, that you get access to using the debug mode but that is how you enable debug mode in the game. All right, so that is it. You've enabled debug mode for Victoria 3. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like so that others can see it as well and learn how to mod Victoria 3. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.